A manager confronts his club about an unacceptable team statistic. We welcome you inside Water Ridge Field. Triple-A action coming at you on the show. It's the Albuquerque Isotopes and the Round Rock Express. First pitch coming your way next. First pitch moments away. So here's the lefty, Cole Reagans. And Chris, he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Well, he went the distance last time, came away with the W, and we'll see if he can continue that trend in this one. One down. And now the shortstop, Pedro Bull. Let's go, right here. Ground ball could be two. Foscu fires over to oh. first. He's out. Batting four. The left fielder, number nine, Jordan. So two down, and the batter will be the shortstop, Pedro Bull. It's kind of a throwback. No batting gloves. Rip it and rip it up. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Wait for your pitch up there. The other way. Get down, get down. And a base hit. And that keeps the inning going. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Jordan Wogu. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Hey, let her rip one time. And he deals. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Smith makes the catch inning over. No runs, one hit, no errors, and a man left. We head now to the home half of inning number three. The Express have the advantage three to one. And welcome back. We go to the top of the fifth. Leading off, Pedro Bull. Pedro Bull. Hey, let her fly, let her fly. The wind and the pitch. And fouled off. And here it comes. To the right side. And he handles oh. it himself for the out. Now batting. The left fielder. Jordan Wogu. Here's the shortstop the at the play. Two. Pedro shortstop. Bull. One Pedro for three. Bull. That's off the mark, and that's ball one. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. Down the left field line, base hit, and that's going to get into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely, it's a double and his second hit. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Man in scoring position with two away. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Wogu, one for two. Here we go, big guy, come on. 
Line drive. Base hit. Bull rounds third, headed for the plate. He will score. It's six to three. Well done. Drives in the run. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. Now it's the shortstop, Pedro Bull. Shortstop, Pedro Bull. There's a strike. Well, he threw that oh, fastball one, right by him. Gives him a little bit of confidence, but in the back of your mind, you got to think, is he trying to set me up oh, for later in this at-bat? Righty delivers. There's a strike. Check swing, no appeal. Gosh, Boog, I think he's trying to deke the pitcher. There's no way he's thinking he can hit that pitch. And a one-two. Just missed. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Swing and a ball popped up. Makes the grab on the run. And that ends the inning. So they load the bases on just one hit, but can't get anyone across. Last half of the eighth coming up. The Isotopes on top, seven to three. Number 15, the, the next Number to 15. hit. Tommy Beck. Hey, come on now, guys. Back to work, 3-2 now. On uh, the ground. Found out to short. Gets it to first. And that is that. So they strand a pair. Through eight full. The Isotopes with the lead. Seven to three. And now the shortstop. Oslavis Basabe. So RBI spot. But Chris, this is a guy that is not really swinging the bat all that well here. In this situation, you have a real good opportunity to get swings and misses and record a strikeout. I think you attack him in this spot. Up the middle. On to first, ball game. Well, Boog, four games wasn't too long of a losing streak, but they're definitely happy to be back in the win column. Now you can turn things around, get on the right track, and probably start a winning streak from here. 7-3 is how this one ends. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Isotope. Seven runs on 12 hits, one error, and 11 runners left on base. For the Express, three runs on nine hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Triple-A baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Albuquerque Isotopes and the Round Rock Express. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Just about set to go. And today's starting pitcher, Owen White. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, coming into this game, hitters are batting under 250 against this starting pitcher. So it just shows you how effective he's been. He's been able to move his pitches around, add and subtract, change up the look so that hitters don't get too comfortable and start squaring up the baseball. We'll see what he's got in this one. Pedro Bull, the next to hit, takes outside. The next ball offering two. misses, and that's ball two. And let's go, big fella. 
And that one off the outside edge. On the ground to the left. Fires across the diamond. That ends the frame. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. One out, runner at second. Digging in, number 40. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Up the middle. And that is out number two. Batting fifth. The first baseman. Runner at first now with two away. Next is the designated hitter, Juan Guerrero. He's over one. And he hits a ground ball right side. Over to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. One hit, one left. On to inning number four. The Express out front here, three to nothing. Welcome back. New inning getting started. The batter will be the shortstop, Pedro Bull. Hey, lucky can up there, kid, huh? The why to kick the pitch. And yeah, that's outside. That one a little bit high, and now 2-0. He's clearly trying to work him away here, both pitches off the plate. If you really want to put the ball in play, you're going to have to stay back and drive it to the opposite field. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. That one blasted deep to right. That's back there. And out of here. He sends it out of here. His fourth home run of the season. It's 3-1. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all and now Pedro Bull. He's already homered in this game. Hey, have a rip like you can. Here you go. Fouled off. He was late. The one. Fought off foul. Next one misses, and a count one and two. O2 two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him off. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Swings and misses, struck him out. Chris, third time through the order, and a couple of quick outs for the starter. Yeah, he's been very frugal. And it's second with one away. And now the DH, Juan Guerrero. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Now the throw to first on the run. Got the out. Now batting, shortstop, Oslevi. Now it's the shortstop, Pedro Bull. He's already homered here in this one. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read nope. and can oh, determine one. whether or not he can score on that base hit. Watch up. Drive him in right here. Here you go. And it's one and one. I think he was sitting off speed there. Here we go. 
swing and a miss. That is strike two. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And down on strikes. Two away. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the eighth. And now the center fielder, Evan Carter. Evan Carter. Out to short. On the run, sends it over to first. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now batting, left fielder, Josh Smith. One gone runner at first. Adam McCullough getting ready to hit. A strikeout and a walk. Hey, we got one. And a 2 1 on the way. Tapped on the ground softly to short. One at second. Roll to first, safe. Good late bite on that slider. Got the hitter out in front, rolled over on it. Exactly what he was supposed to do. Two outs, now runner at first. Now it's the second baseman, Justin, Justin Foscu. McCullough, the runner at first with two Make gone. Pitch. Shut him down right here. Out to short. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, now you're taught to hustle out of the box man. and give it a full Blinker. sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And this one ends with a final score of six to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long. Our final line score, first for the Victorious Express, six runs, 11 hits, no errors, they left 16 men on base. For the Isotope, four runs, seven hits, no errors, they left six men on base. Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. The show has AAA baseball for you. It's the Albuquerque Isotopes and the Round Rock Express. All right, we'll be back to get this one started Ladies after this. Gentlemen, your Round Rock Express. Just about set to go. Now the starting pitcher in this one. Sean Reed Foley and Singy that may be his name but the strikeout is his game well Brooke, I can tell you've been working on that one but yes you are right this guy strikeout per nine over 11 I mean that's just getting it done there are a lot of that strikeouts in that other lineup and point. when you look at what he's able to do man it's going to be a fun one to watch today Pedro Bull in the box with two gone and takes a look at a called strike. Strike two. Oh, it looks to have some quality stuff on the hill today. Start this outing out. Pepper in the zone. Arm is loose and firing him in there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. And welcome back. Bottom of the Lee inning. Young. And now the right fielder, number 15. Right fielder. Tommy. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side. Same side he throws got, from. Shunk ball. under it. Pulls it in for the out. Boy, that was a hanging breaking ball right there. I think he tried to do a little bit too much. Sometimes those eyes can get really big. I think his swing broke. Runner on at first with one gone. Now the left fielder, Zach Britton.
2-2 now. Run around the goal. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses to first. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. Batting none. The designated hitter. Yeah. Here's the shortstop at the play. Pedro Bull. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Going one. Going one. And the right hander deals. Hey, come on, big dog. Get your pick. And downstairs. Shunk stands at second with no outs. Swing and a miss. That's strike two. But baseball is coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good right at the top of the zone. Hitters have to respect that. Very difficult pitch to hit. Johan Mieses to bat next. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Lifted in the air, right center field. Number 15 under it. And out number one on the grab. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Daz Cameron at the plate. Over one so far. Runner at first with no outs here. Bounce to the right, and it stays fair. Lead runner around second. Throw comes in, runner stopped, second and third, nobody out. He was definitely laid on that pitch, but he didn't get beat. He got the bat on plane and just kept his hands tight to shoot it down the first baseline for the knock. Man at second now here with two away. That's and here job. is Oslebis Basabe. One for two. Two outs and one in scoring position. On the ground. Bull. Not in time. He's safe. Boom, that's staying within his game right there. I mean, this speedster gets the infield single, and now he's on base to possibly do some damage. I love seeing what guys like this can do to disrupt the game once they get in a position to do so. And here is Pedro Bull. Pedro Bull, just 19 years old, and he was a third-round pick in 2023. Line drive, base hit. Around second on his way to third. Coming home. He'll score and they've tied it. It's 1-1. Picks himself up in RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Now it's the right fielder, Johan Mieses. Hey, get your pitch. Drive it right there. And down on strikes he goes. One gone here. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look it, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Head run on base. Moises Gomez will hit next. Get 
Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound. But, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. First and second, one out. And the batter now, Brenton Doyle. Bull over at second. Gomez over at first with one away. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this now game. Man. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. So hey, bases loaded up. with one away. Here's the left fielder, Jordan Wogu. Come on, big guy, one time. Here you go. The pitch. High fly ball out towards left field. Britton going back, racing back some more. To the warning track, makes the catch. Runners tagging from second and third. He scores. That's a big sacrifice fly and a 2-1 ball game now. And the batter will now be batter. the shortstop, Pedro Bull. Pedro. Really good piece of hitting Bull. last time going to the opposite field. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. That misses. It's a ball and two strikes. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. The punch out there, and there's two away. Now batting. Two outs, base is empty. Pedro Bull digs in now. Pedro Bull. That hits the dirt, and that's ball one. Foul ball there. Swing and a bouncer. The throw to first, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for him there. We head now to the bottom of the ninth. The isotopes out front, six to two. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. And this one ends with a final score of six to four. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon. Here now is our final line score. First for the victorious Isotopes. Six runs, nine hits, no errors. They left ten men on base. For the Express, four runs, 12 hits, one error, and 13 runners left on base. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. Mother's Day action on the show. It's the Albuquerque Isotopes and the Round Rock Express. Ladies and gentlemen. First pitch coming your way next. Round Rock Express. So just about set now. And our starting pitcher here today, Spencer Howard. Tell us about him in that sub-3 ERA, Singy. Well, anytime you can keep your ERA under three, you're doing a lot of things right, and you're putting your team in a position to win a lot of ball games as well. And he's doing tremendous out there on the mound. Every time he gets the ball, you expect him to go out there and dominate. And that's what he's been to this point. We'll see how he is today. 
Pedro Bull in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Keep it going. Out towards left center. Carter sizing this one up. He's got it. And that is out number three. End of a half inning of play. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Here's the second baseman, Justin Foscue. The second baseman, Justin Foscue. Kicks and fires. Up the middle, Bull. Throws to first, and there's two away. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Slater. One down. Juan Guerrero now at the plate. Guerrero. One out and a runner at second. Out into left center for a line drive base hit. Runner from second crosses the plate. It's 2-0. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. High fastball, even a little above the zone, but such a good job of staying tall on the backside, getting that barrel there to meet it just in time. I'll tell you what, it's not easy to do. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try. Now One gone runner at first. Number 51 getting ready to hit. The 1-1. Grounder might be two. Quickly to second for one. Double play. And that'll do it for the inning. But they push across one run on two hits. No errors and nobody left on. Three innings complete. The Express have the advantage. Three to nothing. Pedro Bull, the, the next to hit. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Pedro Bull. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. Nope, outside. Yeah, come on now, big guy. And that's downstairs and outside. That one fouled off, two and two. That's a little bit low. Really good take, especially with two strikes. This to center field. Carter snags it for the second out. Now batting, right fielder, Johan. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the catcher, Zach Britton. The catcher, Zach Britton. McGreevy back to work. Can't glove it cleanly. Pretty much gifted a leadoff base runner right there. And as an offense, this is where you really want to take advantage. Apply some pressure this inning. Make that error hurt. Josh Smith now digs in now. Rolled to short, possible two ball. Slings to second, oh, yeah. on to first, but he beats it, and a run scores. 
Well, an aggressive slide right there at second base, but that's a legal slide. I like that because you're trying to do whatever you can to break up the double play, and it looked like it had an effect on that throw just a little bit. Couldn't get enough on it to get the second out at first for that double play. Nice job by the base runner. Welcome back. Now it's the shortstop, Pedro Bull. Let's go. Pedro Bull. Better. And a pitch. And there's a foul ball. Well, these guys, they're being honest with themselves, struggling to make contact in this one. They've struck out a bunch, and most of them have been swinging. Some of that is good pitching, but at some point, you'd like to see some adjustments to get the ball and play more. Maybe some of them choke up on the bat and try to He's simplify their approaches, but they got to do something as a group to limit these strikeouts. Pitch misses. It's a ball and two strikes. And now the count is even. It's a good take. Come on, baby. Get your pitch. Just outside. And it's a full count. He's really tightening up his hitting zone with two strikes here. I love it. And down on strikes. And one out now. This guy will throw any pitch in any count. 3-2. He goes off now speed. Back. Gets the out. Back here at the ballpark. Now it's the DH, number 51. Out to short, Bull. Whips it to first on the run. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. The batter, the right fielder, Tommy Beck. Base is empty, one away. And now the right fielder, number 15. Hey, we got one. Oh, one down. Out to short. Bull. Fires to first on the run. And there's two away. The batter, the first baseman. Whoa. Guerrero. So up next, now Evan Carter, one for three. Evan Carter. Britton on at first, nobody out. Ground ball right side could be two. Over to second for one. Over to first, Frank, safe. Good. The batter, not shortstop. Oh, maybe. So digging in, Pedro right, Bull. Right Maranta measures 5 Bull. feet 10 inches, 265 pounds, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Let rip right here. Swings through that one. 0 oh, and 1. Hey, get your pitch up there. Let's go, baby. Next offering is down low. Hey, come on, big dog. Right-handed reliever. And that is cut on and miss. One and two. They haven't scored yet in this game. And with that swing, they're definitely trying to get on the board. That's the way guys go about their business today. Kicks and deals. Foul ball still a one and two count. The pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but yeah, it man. worked. He got the swing the and miss, pitch. and Yo I'm on. sure a bit of siren. But we saw complete domination in this one. The offense exploded for a blowout, and then the pitching staff nails, locked down the opponent. These guys did everything right today. This one ends 7 0. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us. Our final line score.